Today, I'm going to give you my three tips that you need to avoid or you need to follow in this video if you are planning to sell your property. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to give you my three tips that you need to avoid or you need to follow in this video if you are planning to sell your property or if your property is currently on the market right now and you're not getting any views of the property or any showing of property and you're not getting any offers in your property. This is you. Make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you can learn something and then apply this to your current property that you are selling and hopefully you're gonna get view or at least offer and get your property sold but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe you haven't done so the most important thing you know that mash that like button for me and share this video to all family and friends especially for those people who wants to sell their property anytime soon or for those for sale by home owner okay this is very huge and important so without further ado let's jump into it so number one that i would like to say in this video is your property price is too high okay don't ever 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 put your property price too high why because imagine if you're gonna put your property too high what will happen is excuse to all these viewers out here no one will waste their time check the property if the property is not worth of what you are selling okay i'm gonna give you one good example all right so if your property let's say you want to sell it for four hundred thousand, okay that is your property for sale for hundred thousand. however ask yourself as an owner that imagine ask yourself as an owner if your property is worth of 400,000 that's the number one question that you need to ask second imagine your area or your community if the property around you or surrounded you as a homeowner if their property is getting sold on the price that you want to sell if one of the house or your neighbor gets sold for let's say 400,000 in the past six months or in the past three or two months then check that as your comps or comparable and second is find another property in your neighborhood within less than a mile if you found another property is being sold for another 400,000 in the same community or in the same area and not just about that does have to be the same square footage of your property it doesn't have to be the very very the same however it has to be like it's close to the square footage of your property for example if your property is let's say 2,000 square footage the comps or the next property who's been sold within six months or three months within less than a mile in your property or exact property has to be between 1900 square foot or 2000 square foot or 2100 square foot that is your comps that you need to find and make sure that if your property has a four bedroom the property has been sold or your comps has to be four bedroom as well if your property has two bedroom and that property has been sold or your comps has two bedroom as well and then that property is being sold for 400,000 then that's a good comps for your property okay so make sure that your price is on point otherwise as I said earlier if somebody wants to buy a property and they check your property and compare to the property who's been sell who's been sold in the past six months in that current area and check and they found out like this property or your comps property or comparable property only been sold for 300,000 for the past six months See Similar property, similar square footage, similar bedrooms, similar bathroom. Not much similar, but you are selling for 400000 So you need to think about the price because otherwise, not just you, but I am just talking about for the buyers who wants to buy your property. So think about that first, the price. Because if the price is too high, honestly, I would say buyers won't be interested just to go look at your property. It's too high or the price is too high. Okay, remember that one because I've been working a lot of buyers right now and number one what they want me to look for them is price make sure the price is right before we look at property so i'm just telling you as the seller make sure that you put your property on point otherwise you're not gonna get any views and you're not gonna get any offers at all we, before
before we go to my second tip, what I would say here, either you put your price right or at least 10% below asking price, okay? Let's say when you are trying to sell your property, your comps, remember the comparable properties that I was selling earlier, are selling 400,000. The other one is selling like 405,000. And obviously, you are in that area, you can sell your property between 390,000 to 405,000, all right? Or 400,000, whatever you want to put it on. But my personal strategy, what I would do, I would put my property or your property just a little bit 10, 10% below asking price. Let's say instead of 400,000, I will put like 390,000. That's my max point that I will put your property on the market so that people, when they search that you are putting your property, which is 390,000, and the property or the comps that they found has been sold for 100,000, they will think, oh, you're selling your property for less than $10,000, which is good. And then people will think like, oh, I want to see this property right now because you are putting your property with a good price and then you will have more chance that you're going to get a multiple offers because your property is below ask price or below market price, all right? Maybe people come in here, say, I want to put this, the asking price that you want and then another people wants to come in as well and then say, oh, I want to put an offer and you can tell to them that I have already an offer. We, I am taking as an owner, which is a best or high offer and then they will put more, another one put more. So you have more chance to view your property at the same time you will have more chance that you're gonna get multiple offers okay i hope that makes sense if you have question comment down below you know that or smash that like button number two tip that i'm gonna tell you is you don't have a proper marketing strategy okay what is a marketing strategy now marketing strategy this is like don't put your property for sale and you have like a stand stool there outside of your yard or in your front of your property saying house for sale that's it it will work however if you want to sell fast or sell quick your property you need to do a good marketing okay if you don't know about good marketing this is where you're gonna put all your effort to put your property to every single places like online i would give you most or good example here that you need to take note number one is facebook okay you can put your property on facebook so that people around here can see you know the property of the beautiful property that you're selling is for sale second is you can put it on zillow third you can put it in realtor.com fourth you can put on any site or social media like tiktok instagram twitter all that stuff you can put everything in there so that your property will be out there so people can see that your beautiful property is out out there for sale as you know this is the new generation most of the property or most of what we are selling right now is online even this once you found me if I'm gonna talk about here without the camera what's going so that's why we need to put your property as much as we can or as many social media as we could okay some people what they do is they putting some ads on Facebook or ads on Instagram just to get more eyeballs in your property or what they want to sell okay that's a good strategy as well however those kind of stuff you have to pay for marketing and so on so if you have some money or spare money you can do that one but however don't just put a stick outside of your property and just put for sale there honestly if you're gonna do that one will take a while before you someone would see the property that you are selling is already there if they are not in social media the most thing that you will get is like less people to see your property okay remember that one let's go to my last one or my very very important one is you're not hiring a real estate agent or a realtor or a local incredible realtor you need to remember that that's me <laughs> so that you're not to represent you to sell your property okay so you're not hiring a local realtor to represent you as a home seller to sell your property because me not just personally me all the real estate agent out here in our area or here not just here in Florida all over the world or all over the states they know how to market the property they not just going to market your property in those social media that I just told you they will also market property in MLS okay if you don't know what's MLS is the multiple listing service so that MLS is the main source where you put your property for sale and then once you put your property for sale there they're gonna go all over the sub company who is on MLS 
like Zillow.com, Realtor.com, um, Homes.com, and so on. So real estate agent can only log in in MLS if they have or if they are licensed realtor. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in in MLS. And then obviously, if you're for sale home but by homeowner, you need to do step by step like each account in Zillow, Realtor, Homes.com, etc. Put your property out there put for sale. Okay, so you need somebody who can represent you to do all that stuff for you especially the marketing and the paperwork that's the hardest part of this selling process of the property because if you don't have any knowledge especially when you were first time home buyer and you want to sell your property you don't know what you don't know right so it's better to have somebody who will help you and who will guide you how to sell your property not just about how quick you sell your property and also how much you could sell your property okay obviously there is a commission stuff and also payment out there that you need to discuss with the real estate agent however if you want to get your property sold don't do it by yourself okay get somebody who's good knowledge in that particular area or industry to represent you and sell your property i promise you if you hire a right realtor or right local incredible realtor property will have more chance to get sold at a good time and also the good amount that you want to sell your property all right so this is the video for today i know this video is too long but you stay in this video until this end comment down below sold so i can see how many people who sold their property or if you don't want or if your property is currently in the market and you're not selling it maybe i could help you. you can text me reach out to me call me email me you know i'll be happy to answer any question and i'll be happy to help you sold your property so until next time i'll see you on my next video Peace. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. I'm stuck. Let's do it again.